What's happening, you amazing people? Welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to live stream on live.me, which is basically a new platform where you can live stream anything you want from um, using your iPhone or any mobile device's camera to um, games and stuff like that. So in this particular video, we're going to be talking about everything that you need to know about that. Um, so it's very simple to start using it. You, let me just bring this screen up at the front. Um, all you need to do is just simply click on this button with the camera icon it, on it, and it's going to ask you to give it a topic and give this broadcast a topic, and it's going to start doing that. So a bunch of people are doing this. It's the easiest way you can probably do this. Um, it can record um, the game broadcast option. Actually, it records your um, screen off the phone. So once you start doing that, anything that pops up from your messages or if someone calls, everything will be recorded and people can actually see that. Um, but for games, as you know, um, if you want to record off of your PS4 and directly stream on this um, app, there is a different way to do it. It's, um, it's a new software, which is, it's not a new software, but it's a software which is called OBS. Um, that's the free software that anyone uses. A lot of people actually use that. One of the biggest YouTubers actually use, this, use them as well. Uh, so we're going to talk about that, particularly how to use OBS to live stream your games on this new platform called Lab.me. So on the top here, as you can see, there are a bunch of different options, and you can see the gaming option here. So click on that. And right on the top, there are banners going on where it's talking about incentive program, gamer incentive program data, and stream games download kick. Click on that, sign up, give it your information. The information is actually needed just to make sure that it's you doing it and not someone who's hacking into your account and stuff like that. So once you do that, they'll send you a link to download this another app, which is amazing, called Live.me Game. This is the one. Okay? So you click on that. And this basically is a portal uh, from live.me where you can do the live stream of gig games. So you log in using that, again, um, the same application. And here you'll give the topic of your broadcast and you'll choose the vertical and landscape mode. Um, if you were to just use your iPhone or um, mobile device screen to stream. but we don't want to do that. That's the easiest way you can probably do it. So simply follow the steps and it's just going to go live right off the bat. That's very easy. But we want to see this on the top here. There is a computer screen button on the top. Did you see the notice here? Yeah. The different color happened just now because I tapped on it. So if you go onto that PC option, you name your broadcast. So for this, I'm going to call it test. And Underneath it, where it says others, you can choose any of the games that are either mentioned here, or you can just simply say other. Okay? So once you do that, you make sure that you do not have, or if you are okay with it, you can check this mark, which, say, which actually means the location icon right here. So if you tap on that, people will know that you are nearby them, and it's more likely that your stream would be suggested to their views. So yeah, that's a plus option. And you can also use the Facebook icon to actually broadcast it and get more views off of that too. So once you're done with that, you go, you click on go live. So this is all the setup that you can do um, as long as your phone is connected, uh, as long as your phone is concerned. So once you're done with that, you're done. Before you go live, there's just one step that you need to do, which is go onto your computer and click on the OBS software, which is simply very, it's free to download. It's not too hard. So you simply do a Google search on OBS software, and it should open up. It's very simple to download. There's not, not too craziness into downloading that. So once you have this downloaded, this is how the screen looks like. Now, you won't have any of these things here. So what you do is, just don't worry about any of these. 
not even this, okay? So this is basically how your screen is gonna look like. And on the top and uh, on the right corner here where it says settings, you click on that and go to the stream option right here, okay? Now, if you go back to your um, phone screen, um, it, you would notice that once you click on go live after um, giving the name of the uh, live stream and stuff like that, this is what shows up. This is the URL to your live stream. It'll be different every time, so you do not have to worry about protecting it and stuff like that. So it says on the top here, the URL is created, complete the OBS setting and tap the start streaming button to begin the broadcasting. So what you need to do is don't worry about the resolution, FPS and stuff like that too much, at least in the beginning. Simply copy and paste the, this number right here, or basically everything um, in terms of the URL onto right here, the URL. It might have been streaming services option for you. So you simply have to change it to custom streaming services and go to URL and copy everything down from here. So I'm gonna do rtmp colon slash slash pe dot live dot ksm obisnet slash yolo slash one five zero six nine seven zero 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 six nine two four eight seven zero three eight one two okay so now it's all ready i have this url simply copy and paste it into this and that's it you are done you don't need any stream key you don't have to worry about nothing at all go to apply it's going to apply that to this session that you are doing on obs right now okay so if you don't hit apply and you just say okay it's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna change any of the settings that are needed to be changed. Okay, so make sure that you do that and press okay. Now, you are connected to that stream. So this is where you need to show, um, like to present something that you wanna show people. And right now your screen is blank, right? So what I wanna do is basically go onto my, um, my PS4, start playing the game, do the share option there it's very easy to do if you do not know how to share ps4 to your youtube account it's very easy just do a quick search on it and this is my um gaming channel so i would appreciate it if you subscribe that anyways so click on your gaming channel you go into whatever video that you were live streaming on so previously i live streamed in famous second two sun for six hours that's great so so you cl click on that Make sure that you have it big enough that it actually shows on that area of the screen. And you go back to the OBS section. And you click on this scene option. You choose any scene. Okay. Scene 2. Click on plus again. And go to Windows Capture. Okay. You can name it anything you want. For instance, you can say, um, actually, I should just stop this for now or... To set the volume down because this this might be a problem so what you need to do is just um, name your screen as to game scene now this is what's going to show the game okay and now you're going to have to choose which one of these open windows are the one that you want to show so we want to go to infamous second and click that even though it looks all complete here but you can change these settings as to fit the actual screen over um i'll show it to you okay so once you do that you can press ok or show windows with empty names show windows shadows you can have all these options and check or whatever it doesn't matter so now your viewers can see this section right here okay whatever is showing within this black box behind it viewers can see that okay so what you want to do is stretch it out in a way that viewers only see the actual game and nothing else it might be tricky you might have to go you might have to just deal with some of the things getting cut off but yeah whatever fits better okay you do that 
and now you're ready. Okay, whatever you show here on this right now, okay, if you don't see this was being shown just now on the screen because I had it clicked, but now it's gone because I don't have it clicked on anymore. Now, if you go and start streaming, it will start working, okay? So for instance, right now, I wanna say that this is what I wanna show people, right, this area. So I'm gonna click this, start streaming, give it a couple of seconds before it starts working actually, and go here to my mobile device and, and click go live. If it doesn't go through, that means either you have the URL wrong or it's just taking a couple of seconds for this option to be getting connected to the service first before this can actually start working. So what I'm gonna do is try it one more time and see, now I am connected. So I can see all the messages appearing here. I can reply to them. Everything can happen on my mobile device, but make sure that this app is open the whole time, okay? And people are gonna see this screen right here, whatever is shown in here, okay? Now, let's talk about the audio. Okay, so if I go back and click on this audio and bring it up and come back here, the desktop audio is not, not it's, it's not working. People cannot hear any audio right now. So what you want to do is on Mac, go to um, the audio MIDI setup, create a multi-output device. It'll be created very easily by click on that click button and do multi-output device, and make sure that you right-click on it and say, use this device for sound output. Once you click that, whatever is happening on your Windows or your laptop, the sound of that will be recorded into the OBS stream, okay? So, so right now you do not see, right now you don't see any um, device, uh, any audio pop-up. Um, happening right now. So what you want to do is you want to change it to use this device for sound output and see this. So the audio is actually coming through the stream now. Okay, so make sure that you do that. And now you're basically set. What you want to do, see, again, the the, the YouTube player is actually showing the numbers, uh, the timing and stuff. So make sure that you you hide it like that. You go back. Now it's hidden. It's not. It's hidden. Go to OBS like that, and that's it. yeah, it's hidden now. Okay, so now it's very simple. Let, let me bring my face up. <laughs> okay, now this is a very simple layout without having any goals for the stream, without having any of your face appearing in the stream as well. So let's do that as well. So for that, obviously, we're gonna have to add another scene which will be another window capture, and make sure that you have um, applications like photo booth and stuff like that. Whatever is showing your face, either it's a camera application or whatever, make sure that it's open, go into the source, click on it. Again, window capture, very easy, say cam. Okay, the name is already in use. Okay, doesn't matter, cam one, okay and simply find which one of these is the camera that you wanna use. I'm gonna click photo booth. Now it's covering the entire screen, but don't worry about that. Um, I'm gonna do this, okay. And now this is where you can stretch, um, sorry, <laughs> shrink and stretch, whatever, uh, the actual camera and bring it over to the corner wherever you wanna have it. Very easy. There you go. And now you can see yourself while playing the game. Oh, I'm playing the game, it's really cool. And then for the stream goals, you have to just edit out something um, which says your live stream goals, um, GIF goals, and maybe your social media um, information and stuff like that. Okay, let's just, let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so like that. Not needed. Had this. I, I probably have some of these things made. Streaming logo, I believe this is it. Mm, 
this taking a second because I'm putting too much pressure on my laptop right now. But I think it should be good. Yep, they should be good. Never mind. We're good. Okay. So as soon as these two things open up, as I already mentioned, make sure that those things are open before you can select them into your um, OBS application. So once these are open, go to OBS again and repeat the same steps. Oh, if something is missing, that means you have hidden it. So make sure that you bring it back up. Where is that? There you go. And let's see if this is not all right. It's back on. Again, source, click on the window capture, and now we're gonna say stream target. Press OK. Again, choose where it says gold stream logo, gold. Okay, that's the target that I have for the stream, whatever, doesn't really matter. And sh shrink that again, bring it up. There you go. That's the stream goal. And we're gonna add one more thing, which is our social media information. So again, video capture, social media. Okay, and again, look for social media. I believe this should be it, nope. Stream logo. And bam, look what I just found. The stream information. Okay, make sure that you follow me on Tech Jockey HD, YouTube, Instagram, whatever, everything. I have the same name. You guys are amazing if you do that. I would highly appreciate it. I really hope that this video actually helped you guys. If it did, make sure, make sure, hold on, let me show it to you. Make sure that you follow my gaming channel, which is called Tech Jockey Gaming, or give me a second, or I would appreciate if you can Subscribe to my other channels as well, which are called Tech Jockey HD, which is basically about technology. I do review pr uh, products and stuff like that. Or should I do it, which is my name. Um, and I kind of lost sometimes as well. And that is all. Um, so basically, again, all I want to say is make sure that you guys use this platform because there's a lot of opportunity in this and use it in the right way. Uh, whatever way that you're comfortable with, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and yeah, that is all I have for you amazing people. So I hope I'm not missing anything because I'm making this shot for like fourth or fifth time and I'm done making it. Um, yeah, glad that I could help if it did. Appreciate that and stay tuned for more and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.